Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create this abstract outshot in Blender. You can get the file on Gumroad for a dollar through the link in the description. So let's get started. First let's hit Shift A and add a plane. Now I'll go to shading. As always I'm going to use this HDI, you can find a link to that in the description. Let's press delete and 7 on the numpad and go into a rendered view. Now plug the color into the factor here and color 2. I'm going to set this back to cycles. Now go to color management and set it to very high contrast. Go to the render properties. I'm going to use cycles for this but you can also use EV. If you use EV make sure to enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. Click on new and let's add a Voronoi texture. Put that here. Set the Warner texture to distance to edge and the scale to 2.5. Let's control shift click on it and I'm going to zoom in more here. And let's move it over here. Add a mix RGB and duplicate it and move it down here. Duplicate the Warner texture and set it to N sphere radius and set the scale to 5.4. Now plug the radius into the color 2. Set the scale to 1. Now go here and add a mask wave texture and put it here. Duplicate the Voronoi texture and press F3 and type in reset node. If you want to get these previews here you can get the node preview add-on for the link in the description. Now we need a wave texture. Let's put that here. Duplicate the mix RGB and put it here. Now let's plug this into color 2 and into the factor. Set the scale to 5.4 and set it from F1 to smooth F1. And plug the distance into the factor and color 1. Duplicate the mask wave texture and set the scale to 10 and the detail to 15. Now plug the height into the color 1. Let's grab these two nodes and move them over here. Let's also set the dimension to 11.9. With the color ramp selected press Ctrl Shift D to keep this connection here and connect the color to the factor and color 2. Bring in the black around here and here let's flip the color ramp and bring it in around here. Add a gradient texture and put it here. Now set it to spherical. Duplicate the mix RGB again and let's add a color ramp. Put it here. Control shift click on the principal BSDF and connect the color to the base color. Now bring the black back here and let's make this red like this. And let's make the white blue. Now let's save. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to connect it to the emission as well. Let's also connect it to the normal and shift A and add a bump node. And let's use the height. Duplicate one of the color ramps and let's set this to HSL and set it to counterclockwise. Let's save again and go to render and render image. If you can, then I recommend that you use optics. If you can't, then you can also use open image denoise. Let's go here, hit shift A and add a camera. And now let's go into camera view by pressing Ctrl Alt 0 and position it somewhere around here. Go to compositing and enable use nodes. Add a denoise node set to accurate and enable denoising data. Now go to the render properties. I'm going to render it at 128 samples with denoise enabled. So that's it with the tutorial. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what I should do next and I'll see you next time.